Hey family, I'm Stephanie Wade. I'm Habasia, helping your brothers and sisters in Africa, as well as the Creole Griotis. How are y'all doing this wonderful day? Whether it's morning, evening, or afternoon, wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day. I'm doing fine, y'all, sitting under my fig tree. It has some figs, y'all. And what's weird is some of the figs fall down, but they're not edible, not for humans anyways. I'm just waiting for them to get ripe on the, on the tree. Hopefully they will. Maybe I need to give it more water. I don't know, y'all. Because sometimes I get a tree water, it still don't produce anything. So I don't know. When my grandmother had figs and my mother had figs, believe you me, they didn't do nothing to their fig trees. <laughs> they really didn't. I know my mother watered her garden. But when she watered her garden, the fig tree was a part of the garden of her. It was just there. It was there when she got the house. And then after I got stung by a wasps on it, it was a cut down tree. <laughs> Even though the tree didn't do it, it was the wasps that did it. Instead of just removing the wasp nest, the wasps nest. But anyway, y'all, that's the way it goes sometimes. Sometimes the good is taken out with the bad. I'm just so glad I'm awoke, y'all. From a dream last night. And while I'm thinking, <laughs> if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome to my channel. And if you're coming back, welcome back. I appreciate and love all of y'all. And y'all know when I say love, I'm talking about agape love. Because sometimes when you say love is love, people take it the wrong way. <laughs> y'all, I've been married to somebody that I loved. I imagine that at one time he loved me back. We had three sons together, and I've never changed my preference, so that's that. But as for trying to change who somebody else shows intimate affection for, that's not for me to judge, y'all. But y'all know I'm protective of children, so when it goes that way, like they say, when it goes into the dark side, I don't go there. I'm just as conservative as the next guy when it comes to protecting our innocence. But anyway, if you have not subscribed, even if I said it before, I'll say it again, please do. Comment, like, and share below. Y'all, I had a crazy dream last night. And I don't know why. Maybe because it's hot in my house and I was just too hot to have a decent dream. I don't know. <laughs> it was enough to make me sit out here in the breeze today to think about it. Give myself some rest. <laughs> they gave a warning yesterday and told people don't go outside. Because you know they're assuming that they don't have shade outside. Like, like in this yard. Even though one half of my yard has lots of sun, this fig tree is still giving me lots of shade. And you can see from the light of the branches 
that the sun is shining this way but the tree is blocking it and giving me good shade giving me a wonderful breeze I hear the birds and the trees above me. It's nothing like trees, y'all. Maybe it was me watching one too many documentaries. And it was talking about Green Revolution and, and everything. Well, it was also letting you know the, the reason for a lot of this climate change. And a lot of it is because they're changing the land from forest to so-called farmland to feed people or changing it into grazing land for cattle because people are obsessed with eating too much meat. Y'all, it made me sad because when they showed the forest before and after picture, it's like on the after picture, the same people who were supposed to be growing food to save the world were drowning because it was flooding in their area because it wasn't trees to hold the water back or absorb the water. The rainy season became shorter. Yeah, it's all interrelated, y'all. We have to save our trees. And then I saw how the indigenous people don't have rights just because they're migrating from one place to another because their belief system, nobody owns the land, that the land is communal, that it belongs to everybody. So they were following the wildlife before. And even if they stayed in a place for hundreds and thousands of years because they don't have a piece of paper, that somebody that was a Johnny come lately wrote then somehow those laws of that land covers them. And that's sad, y'all. Reminds me of the movie Avatar. It's like, when did a piece of paper have to delegate what belongs to somebody when at first it belonged to everybody? That people use them forces like weapons to have the spars of war. It's 2022, y'all. We should be using different techniques by now. But then again, if you turn on news, you'll see that it hasn't changed. That people complain about social security or whatever getting funding but they don't have a problem killing folks and that people have a problem with folks dying they're sensationalized but they don't have problems with terminating people that they don't want around Life is life, y'all. Life is life. If love is love, then life is life. Before, during, and after you know the person. I remember one of my sons used to tell my daughter, you know so-and-so before you existed because to him, she didn't exist before I brought her into our household and I had to let him know that she's older than you. She existed before you existed. It's all in our concepts, y'all. It's 
all in our concepts. And just like people can visualize the color of somebody's eyes or the gender that they're coming here with, have all these showers and things. I would say you is important. Before you were born, before somebody even thought of you coming into the world, even if somebody planned for you or didn't plan for you, you're important. The choices that we make, whether good or bad, is something that everybody has, free will. It's just consequences that we have to decide if we can live with them are not, and even if not, we have to decide that that choice is all right with us. Because it's also a choice. Like I said, I don't know why I had that terrible nightmare last night. Maybe it was people trying to feel manga. Not just in the Gambia, y'all. Because the fear mongering goes on worldwide. And people will make something evil or make people evil by calling them terrible names because they don't agree with them or what they have to say. And I say that people learn from our good example as well as bad example. And that if you try to manipulate people with their superstition, they're showing you character. And if you try to shed some light on some of the superstitions, it also shows your character. Just imagine, no matter what people had and what people practiced, it didn't stop anything from happening. So you know that it's all false evidence appearing real, like a, a lucky rabbit's foot. It wasn't so lucky for the rabbit now, was it? And in some places where they sacrifice lots of different things, hoping that they would get the result they want. Y'all, it's like the emperor's clothes. Even though the emperor was naked, at least in his underwear, People were saying how fine his outfit was because it was expected of him. That's how it is with all those other stuff people tell you about. See what I got on today? This is a goddess necklace. Y'all, some people might say, hey, you're one of us. You're a goddess person. And they'll be all like happy to meet me. Some people may say, wow, interesting. Women rock because they make other people that are portals to bring life into the world. And yes, I know, in 2022, you can say that sometimes the doors of the portal are closed. <laughs> because now the portal says if it'll open or it'll close on that said life. 
but in general, we were made as part of our description to be a portal for human life. We're co-creators with the men. No sperm, y'all, no people. We need them just as much as they need us. And maybe that's why I had an unfortunate nightmare too, is that so many people are saying such negative things about the opposite gender. Like I said, making up words about people, labeling them, reminds me of a book I read in junior high called The Scarlet Letter. It's like no one knows what anybody does behind closed doors, as my grandmother used to say. So why do they try to name and shame people or groups of people? And even when it comes to different ethnic groups or racial groups, just because some people within that group did something bad does not mean that everybody in that group is bad. It's just not good to label people, y'all. When are we going to be judged by the content of our character? Martin Luther King was right about that. When we are judged by the content of our character, I tell you, y'all, in that dream, nightmare, <laughs> I know I was going out of town with my so-called kids and my husband, and I didn't even know this guy in the dream, y'all. And the kids didn't even pack enough clothes for the trip. <laughs> I guess they were trying to learn to be backpackers, I don't know. They wasn't little kids, y'all. They was like teenagers. And I had the hardest time trying to find them. My, my phone didn't work and everything. It was a mess. Going up escalators, down escalators, jumping across stuff. You will swear I was in a, a movie. <laughs> an adventure movie. <laughs> Oh, I do remember telling this little girl who was invited by one of my daughters that she wasn't going to be invited to the next trip because she had my daughter leave from whatever place we was at that looked like a, a shopping mall, actually, to go to somebody's house she knew to invite them on our trip. And it was grown people, and they still packed light and came adding themselves to the trip like you could just add another person at the airport just I don't know maybe they flew standby I don't know it was a mess y'all all I know is when I woke up I was so glad <laughs> that was one time that I said thank y'all hallelujah I woke up cause I feel like I'm in more control when I'm awake <laughs> And when I'm sleeping, it feels so good out here. I wish I could take this breeze and bring it in the house. I don't think we was made to be in the house, y'all. If I renovated this house and, and put air conditioner in it, it'd be bad for the environment and bad for my pocketbook. Having to pay for that remodeling until I died and paying the electric bill forever too well almost like I said until I until I don't when I'm in the Gambia I get to enjoy the breezes sometime I'm in the right house where you can just open the windows and feel the breeze that's how it was in Mama Africa's 
you could open up the windows and it'd be so cool at night that you'd have to turn around and close the windows and use a comforter. I gotta have a house like that, y'all. A round house or a house that looked like a round house. That's well ventilated with mosquito net so I don't have to worry about being bit by the mosquitoes. They something else, y'all. You have to be using bitter leaf to rub on your bite. I wish I could figure out how to make a real natural insect repellent so I would be able to just make sure I keep the repellent on all the time. And y'all, you know what is funny? They said that banana trees only last one time because they give the bananas and then the people chop them and drop them or turn them in all different kind of fabrics now. But it's an expensive machine that's needed to make it usable for fabrics. And then some people even turn the fabric into a cotton-like fiber that they use for important hygiene products. But I tell you, when they stay up, the leaves still can be used to wrap things. And they still can be used for shade because the ones I have, y'all, still living. And they turn brown, and then they turn around and sprouted another tr another clone from within. <laughs> so they really not a one-use thing unless you're using them just for that one use, which is to get the bananas from them. But if you're using them, like I said, to use the leaves for something, or you decide to cut them up and do a chop and drop to build your land, uh, or think of some other kind of way to make that uh, fabric out of uh, the banana. It's an interesting, an interesting thing. But I know that they re-green themselves. Gotta be a lots of uses for that. Those leaves, biodegradable wrapping papers, interesting y'all it's interesting but anyway y'all whenever i watch some of them videos i learn lots of interesting things doesn't mean i ever get to do them but i say wow the possibilities sometimes the limitations is just time or money and sometimes both but anyway guys I was just checking in with you guys, sharing some of my adventures and thought, even when I'm sleeping <laughs> and happy to wake up. <laughs> Have you had any dreams that you didn't even know the people in? <laughs> Not even the ones supposed to be your children <laughs> or your husband. <laughs> or whatever. I know they're supposed to represent situations that you didn't resolve when you were awake. But y'all, some of that is because I know when I'm awake, false evidence appearing real. So is a nightmare just your fear at night when you're not uh, conscious? of the false evidence appearing real. Remember, when you hear anybody trying to fear monger you, think of why. If I make you be afraid and very afraid of everybody else, and I tell you, trust me. <laughs> you gotta wonder why. What am I saying? selling to you. You know, what bill of goods am I selling to you? 
look and see if somebody that's trying to fear monger you is doing something that's good for somebody and not getting paid for it. <laughs> somebody who will do it even if they use their own money to do it. Just think, y'all. Don't let people make you label somebody and be afraid of somebody because of what somebody wears or what somebody says or even if they burn incense, y'all. Because there's plenty of places that you can go and burn incense because you like the smell. Not for any other reason. Just think, y'all. If anything had such power, even juju or voodoo or whatever, or good magic, bad magic, black magic, white magic, imagine, y'all, people have been enslaved for hundreds of years that supposedly come from people who practice these things and it didn't help at all. It's just a cultural influence that helped people to cope with their situations. No different than jewelry, y'all. Because one person will uh, wear jewelry for beautification of their body, and then the next person is told that jewelry is idols. Yeah, jewelry is idols. I was in a group once that you couldn't wear anything beside a watch, a watch on a wedding ring. Now, who decided that? that wasn't an idol because the people resisted. They still wanted to wear their wedding rings and they still wanted to wear their watch. So they allowed it. But everything else, y'all, oh, you was going to hell. So you couldn't wear your earrings, couldn't wear your bracelets, none of that. I've outgrown that y'all. And I researched my way right out of that group. Because I always used to wonder if all this stuff was bad that they was teaching us, why did we go to Branson around the Christmas holidays and take a picture in front of a tree? It's like that tree is supposed to be from paganism, you know? So we weren't supposed to be taking no picture in front of that tree. In fact, we should have been scared we was gonna be struck by lightning or go to hell for taking a picture in front of that tree. And even though we didn't practice Christmas, folks still would give you a gift if you was a good tither. <laughs> you know? We have to just think, y'all. Everything is not always what it seems. And we have to do our own research. We cannot turn around and be superstitious and let people manipulate us into being fearful. Fearful of something that has no power at all on its own. It only has power if you believe like the emperor's clothes, y'all. You can be so afraid that he'll hurt you for telling him the truth that you'll say, oh, that's a nice suit. Emperor, I love it, I love it. You look good in that. And then a little kid who didn't know any better say, hey, you naked, you ain't wearing nothing. Y'all. Life is good.
good happens in everybody's life as well as bad happens some, sometimes in everybody's life. Seems like some people have a charmed life. And then you find out sometimes that all along you thought they had such a charmed life that they was going through something, y'all. Something that really wasn't good. Something that was painful. And all they was doing was trying to just live, trying to just survive. Because sometimes the cure almost seems worse than the disease because it makes you hurt in more ways than one trying to get that cure enough to ring a bell when you're done with your series of treatments. And did it work? Who knows? Lots of times I think the cure comes simply from people going through that ritual of pain, thinking that they'll make it at the end and their body kicks in at the end and gives them what they need to survive because it doesn't want to go through that again. Like, oh, I don't want to go through that again. Let me give you this. This is the cure that I'm making the cure for you myself. They say the body can heal itself. Who knows, y'all? But anyway, I'm going to finish my apple. And I don't know what else I'm going to eat, y'all. I don't know. I'll try to read something in a bit. It's going to be hopefully cooler in the house than it is out here. But I did get to talk with y'all. And that makes me happy. No one can be happy all the time. But you know what they say. For the spices of your life, you got to pay the price. And you know what I mean. I hope you go out there and have a wonderful and blessed day. Don't let nobody film on to you. Think, why is that person saying that? Why are they? And then forget about it. You're not a baby, you can defend yourself. There's nothing out there that's gonna hurt you. Nothing will happen to you that's not supposed to happen to you, whether good or bad. And that's that, y'all. It's just that. I know that I'm here until I fulfill my purpose. And then that'll be that. But until then, y'all, what? Peace, peace, power to the people. And I'm out, y'all. Bye.